Yo, what's going on my people? Daniel Blocker back at it again with another one. Hey, just before I quickly get into the, today's video, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all the love and all the feedback and all the comments on my previous videos. It means the absolute fucking world. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and if you are enjoying the content, all I can ask is that you drop a like and you subscribe. We are on the way to a thousand subs. That is the goal. And it would mean the absolute word to me if you could subscribe or like or just give me some feedback based on the content that i'm putting out in today's video i'm gonna try and keep it um short and sweet but still make a decently sized video out of it um but we had a um a patch an update that's coming out um and we got some some patch notes from the game undisputed um and we're gonna we're gonna dive into them i haven't actually seen them i tried to just stay away from them so i can record them try to stay away from the reddit so i didn't see what was going on um obviously as everyone knows there's a lot of talk currently and there's a lot of debating and disputing currently over the fact that we've got um you know a serious issue going around with the body uppercut spammers and some cheers um, I personally haven't come across a lot of cheers, but I don't play the game nowhere near as much as some of the other guys in the Discord. So I totally sympathize with them. But yeah, the body uppercut situation, I tried to record a video yesterday, um, which I'm in the process of editing and will come out in the next couple of days. I'm trying to be more consistent. Uh, but trying to record gameplay, you know, I mean, it's difficult because, you know, every two, three fights, you're coming up against people like this. And, you know, it just, it puts a damper on the recording. It puts a damper on my gameplay experience so yeah but anyway um here's the undisputed page or uh, the official twitter page um here's the tweet we've pushed a balance and bug fixing update to the game on steam hashtag become undisputed read the notes and also notes on some of the key areas players are most eager to see updated and that we're focused on ensuring improve over the next few updates um so it's not going to be a immediate fix it's going to be a fix over a you know a period of time which is perfectly understandable so let's go into it and read some of these notes so here is the the game patch um 15 of march um and some code here uh and it says hey five fans this patch contains a range of balance changes including fighter updates cuts and bruises and more as well as some bug fixes before we jump into the notes for this patch, we want to talk about some of the key areas players are most eager to see updated and that we're focused on ensuring improve over the next few updates. So obviously, this is them saying, listen, we hear you loud and clear because we are making a lot of noise, especially in the Reddit. And I think the feedback online currently is that, you know, the stability of the game and the cheers, the balance is just thrown out. So it's not particularly easy to enjoy the game currently um so obviously th that's them saying look we know we've heard you we've seen it uh and we're gonna you know we are doing something about it and you know what that's good sometimes letting people know that you are aware and that you are working on it and as long as there's a result coming out over a period of time people will become you know more tolerant to the fact that there's an issue ongoing but you know do you know what let me just not worry about it i know it might suck now, but I know that there's a fix in in the limelight in the in the you know in the media future. So um, online stability and cheers. Okay, cool. They're touching on it. That's good. In our previous content update, we spoke about our work in these areas, our determination to get them right, and that how that will take time. I'm not sure if the writing in this is all mad or it's just me not being able to read. But either way. While this update contains a small fix that should slightly reduce the number of disconnections online, more work is ongoing in the background. We continue to roll out new bands for anyone caught cheating in the meantime. Good. We'll continue to update you on our progress on these issues here and in our community channels. That is good. I mean, I'm not getting a uh, stupid amount of um, disconnects, but I am getting a serious amount. You know, I am seeing people i should say there were a lot of cheers and do you know what good on the people in the reddit um as a matter of fact i will open the reddit and show you guys so here is the reddit if you guys wanted to um see it um i mentioned it in, pre in my previous videos um so yeah if you guys were interested at all but here here is the reddit if you wanted to join um yeah 
and people on here are very good because they are putting people on blast which is what they should do gameplay we've also seen a lot of feedback around what happens inside the ring good particularly around head and body health stamina balancing ai and body uppercuts uh, body uppercuts should be right at the top of that list honestly over the next few updates you can expect to see changes made to the health system adjusted targeting for body uppercuts so that they can't be easily abused and AI improvements which will continue to be expanded on throughout the course of early access okay so they've addressed it which is good to see sometimes companies and game developers like to dance around the actual issue but it's good to see that they actually are mentioning it which is really good to see with stamina usage and other balancing we have to strike a good balance of both online and offline play which sometimes necessitates making balance adjustments only alongside other changes such as improving the ai so that it's more capable of reacting to and adjusting its stamina levels in a way that players can that being said this update does contain a small adjustment for stamina see notes below and you can expect to see further adjustments to stamina throughout the course of early access so it'll be very interesting to see what the gameplay feels like now because they said they've made small changes i want to see if these changes are noticeable over this that body uppercut situation this should be at the top of the priority list because honestly we've had you know issues with spammers in the past you know and i feel like they've obviously introduced the stamina draining thing where you can't hit the same punch over and over again but like this body uppercut situation is mad, man. Like crazy, crazy. Like I haven't seen anything like it. It's like the most overpowered technique ever. It don't even make any sense. So it's good to see that they've um, acknowledged it and they are working on it, which is really good to see. Now let's jump into the notes for the patch shipped on 15th of March, 2023. Gameplay changes, increased base flash knockout chance. That's interesting. That's interesting. That could add a good element to how the gameplay feels, you know, because sometimes you know in, in actual fights you know people just get dropped it would make it a lot more realistic i'd say because before it's very hard to come and see flash knockouts it don't happen that often you mostly go through rocking someone and then dropping them so this will add a nice element to increase the, i hope just just quickly mentioning i hope this is not like i hope this is balanced because you know you don't want you don't want to just improve increase something and now all of a sudden you just get drop left right and center and the fire is over or do you know what i mean like they don't give you the chance to just like deal with you know like running around the ring while you're trying to survive um increase the chances of cuts and bruises occurring okay so these are the issues that i've got so obviously spamming and cheating is obviously an issue at the moment and i think with this it could make things a little bit worse, but obviously adds a sense of realism to the game because, you know, this happens in real life. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I just hope, yeah, I just hope it's balanced. Increased damage to cuts and bruises. So this works in conjunction with this one here. Someone is just going to spam the same punch over and over again. It's just, it, it could, you know, it, it could make the issues that we currently have got a lot worse. Um, increased stamina uses for power punches. Um, good good yeah so this is obviously addressing some of the issues that are currently ongoing with spamming so you know people just throw body uppercuts over and over again you know power body uppercuts um so this could take a massive hit on their stamina which is good um increased damage they'll bite hooks to the head okay this is a little bit controversial because i already think that those hooks to the head are just so damaging as it is anyway man and then working against working in conjunction with this and this i just think that's like mental because it's you know i mean you could just throw a combo and and cut someone and all of a sudden you're just gonna see people spamming hooks so i don't know i think it's yeah increased damage dealt to block health yeah man i don't know like obviously they are good and they are realistic changes that they've made but I just think they're all, I think they're all leading into the, into the hand of the people that just spam hooks to the head. Because you still see it all the time. As much as, you know, the, the, the meta at the moment is body uppercuts, you still see a lot of that currently, man. So anyway, increase damage to block health. It'll be interesting to see how it goes, honestly. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive at the moment.
Bug fixes, general improvements on how we handle online connections, good. Move counterpunch modifier from the speed category to the strength category, okay. Fix an issue causing the fight select UI continuing to show and overlapping with other areas of the game. Didn't really experience this. Uh, fix an issue that caused players to sometimes get stuck on the transition screen after being kicked from a custom look. Never experienced this. Fix an issue that meant one of Sergio Martinez's traits wasn't correctly displayed. Wasn't dis correctly displaying, sorry, the trait description. Okay. Fix multiple issues relating to taking a knee. Interesting. Lots of general, other general bug fixes. Okay. Uh, boxer changes. Fighters have gone through another iteration of balance adjustments with the stat changes to Ryan Garcia, Josh Taylor, Joe Joyce, and 19 other boxers to make them feel more in line with their real life counterparts. So I'd imagine he's probably gone up. Uh, please continue to share feedback around whether a boxer and this video feels authentic to their real life counterpart as fire balancing will be an ongoing effort throughout the early access. Okay, good. It's, it's, I, I guess what I'm taking away from this is the fact that they've acknowledged the body uppercuts. They've actually mentioned it in writing. There's no going back now um, because they said that they're going to do something about it. So over the next few updates, we're all expecting to see a, a dramatic change. So let's hope that happens. The gameplay changes, I honestly think it's good that they've obviously added them, but I just think it could really just play into the hands of the people that are spamming. You know, this, this, and this just work in conjunction with each other, honestly. So, I don't know. This could really play in the hands of people that are just spamming hooks, which was the meta before the body uppercut. But yeah, um, I don't know how I managed to ramble on for 12 minutes. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new around here and you are enjoying the content, please consider dropping a like and a subscribe uh, to the channel. It means the absolute world to me. I'm going to drop the link to the Undisputed uh, subreddit as well if you guys want to join and see what the man are saying on there uh, but yeah that's going to be it for me um, i've got a video coming out in the next couple of days and yeah see you guys in a bit take care peace